Why does any of this matter when drones drop bombs with zero risk to pilots? The answer lies in physics. Artillery barrels, JLTV axles, and palletized rockets still weigh tons. Satellites die, runways crater, ports vanish under anti-ship salvos. In that chaos, amphibious ready groups need something that can pull a 27,000-pound howitzer off a well deck, crest a mountain ridge, and land on an unlit soccer field. For now, CH-53K is the only Western aircraft that fits that job, full stop. Critics counter that $100 million chopper is a juicy radar target. Proponents reply that brute lift buys options no algorithm can replace. Evacuating embassies under fire, retrieving a crashed F-35 engine from a jungle clearing, or inserting a radar jammer pallet onto a reef to blind enemy missiles. The debate mirrors a century-old question. Is the best strategy to spread risk across swarms or to wager on a few giants capable of extraordinary feats? From swampy Vietnam evacuations to tomorrow's maritime kill chains, the CH-53 family has survived because war keeps inventing tasks too heavy for anything else. Each new variant raised the stakes. 